Hey hackers, welcome back. I recently moved into a hacker house and so now I'm gonna show you what that looks like. In order to get into the hacker house, we have a nice little app here. Then it's gonna connect. Going to the back here, we have to walk through a fairly creepy hallway, but that is okay. There are also some flies back here, but we ignore those, we just keep walking. The house is on this side and we're just gonna go up these stairs right here. And it's actually behind a few houses and so it keeps it a little bit quieter back here. Starting with the outside, we have this beautiful garden here. We're growing lots of different things. And we also have this sitting area out here with these two chairs. So we can go ahead and walk inside and this is the living room slash study area. There's the lighting. We can look around and here there's plenty of power, plenty of chargers, a lot of people work here during the day. In the Hacker House, we have a lot of startups, a lot of people creating their own companies or just working remotely as software developers. As a Hacker House, most of the people here are tech. There are a few people that aren't that you'll meet a little bit later. Everything in the house is assigned by influencer here and so we have the freedom room, the feel good room, the dream room, and the peace and love room. You get assigned one of these people, whether it's Gandhi or Lady Gaga or Neil Armstrong, which is me, and that's how all of your stuff is labeled in the house. And so you get a pantry space, you get a fridge space, you get all that good stuff, and you have a closet, a place where your clothes go, and everything is labeled not by your name, but by the influencer. That's like your alias in the house. This hacker house is owned by Serendipi and Nest, and so they're a company that does co-living spaces and all of that good stuff, and this is one of their houses. They're going to expand very soon. They just got a second property, so congrats to them. But there are lots of these types of houses that exist in San Francisco. Now let's head over to the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen. Most of the time, if you're working in San Francisco or you're working for a startup, you're usually getting free food with your work. And so here, we no, no one really cooks. We don't have a whole lot of cooks in the kitchen here. But we do have a kitchen. We have a nice little stove here. It works. We also have some cabinets, and these are like all shared cutlery. You can see different utensils, different pots and pans, all of that good stuff. We have in-unit laundry, which is great. We have a toaster, we have a Nutribullet, all of that good stuff, and it's shared among the community. Even though I don't use it a whole lot, it's, it's here if you need it. In the fridge, you do get half a shelf, so kind of like in the other place. This fridge is, a fridge. Most of this is my neighbor's food. I have my water bottle labeled on the side and so you have your individual shelf. We'll close this back up. Back here we have the laundry. It's a nice washer, dryer, all of that good stuff for your clothes. And now we can take a look at the pantry. <laughs> In the pantry, you get your own little container where you can put all of your pantry things. Again, I don't have a lot of food in here just because I eat out way too much. And I eat at the tech companies, but we have the storage here if we need it. After you've cooked your food, we have this little city area here. It's like a little dining table. You can go eat your food, and this is like our dining area. Now let's head upstairs. So just like we saw on the board, the whiteboard downstairs, here we have two rooms on the right and two rooms on the left, and then a bathroom in the middle. As we saw before, we still have those labels for who lives in each room, and they correspond with the whiteboard that we saw before. Now I'm gonna give you a tour of one of the rooms. And so in here, I'll show you a little bit of the pod situation that I live in, and then the other different types of bunk beds people live in. Now, I don't really want to show you the entire room because it's kind of messy right now, but I'll show you where I keep my clothes and how much space I have for storage. They need to see. <laughs> so these are my clothes and that's it for that. Let's move on to the next section of the house. 
we have a little patio area where you can come out, read, sit, talk to people. Now these walls are really thin, so everyone will hear what you're saying, but if you just wanna be outside and talking, this is a great place to be. All right, so now we can go down these stairs and go back to the front of the house. Now we're back at the front and we are gonna check out the garage area. And so the garage is another area we have and it's more of another chill space, another place to hang out and we're gonna see who's in there. All right, so we're in the flies again, but we are also very close to this other garage area. All right, so they are transforming the space into a co-working space right now. They're cleaning it all because before it was more of a chill area, it was a chiller space, but now it's becoming a working space and they're rebuilding it. So that's it for the Hacker House. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos on co-living and how all of that works and how co-living in SF compares to LA, let me know down in the comments and happy hacking.